Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we're taking out the Tier 8 U.S. cruiser in the New Orleans. Uh, I like the New Orleans. It's a little bit heftier of a ship than the Pensacola, which is a floating citadel. The New Orleans still can, can get one-shotted pretty easily, but uh, it has a little bit more armor now. Uh, about the exact same guns, same maneuverability, same top speed. It's just a little bit heavier armed. So that works for me. So first thing we want to do is look at the scoreboard and see what I'm up against. So there is a tier 8 carrier, which I'm very happy about because I'm very good at killing planes. There's a tier 8 North Carolina, which is very scary. He's the type that can one-shot me. The two Colorados have the possibility they could definitely hurt, and the New Mexico is not really a huge concern for me. Uh, the enemy cruisers I'm not particularly concerned about, and the two destroyers are going to be my primary targets. Destroyers are absolutely the first thing you should be firing at at low and mid-level cruiser gameplay. You are uniquely equipped to kill them. You have fast firing guns that are relatively accurate. You have abilities such as hydroacoustic search, which can increase your assured acquisition range. Basically lets you see into their smoke if you're close enough. Uh, you can also use your spotter aircraft, though I like to use the catapult fighter, both because it increases your AA capabilities and it also stays up, up in the air for six minutes, which is extremely nice and helps you just extend your visibility range. Uh, I've caught a lot of destroyers off guard with just a well-timed catapult fighter floating just barely close enough to them that I know where they're at. Uh, also to note, our cruisers are generally just as fast, eh, close enough to the speed of your average destroyer. Especially if said destroyer is trying to maneuver and dodge and weave uh, and they're just slowing themselves down. So, starting out the game, I dip into the the cap real quick to get those free points. It also starts ticking off our points on the overall scoreboard so that helps us get a win which is more experience and more silver for me. I see some incoming bombers so I'm going to kick into full speed and try and cut them off and you'll see the exact moment he realizes I'm here, there. He just saw me and decided he did not want to be anywhere near a tier 8 U.S. cruiser, which are notorious for being very good at killing planes. So he hightails it out of there, loses that group, but retreats the other two groups. I think he did a quick little pot shot at our Fabuki up ahead, who has now popped his smoke. I see another smoke cloud up ahead, so and torpedoes in the water right there. So we know that at least one of those two destroyers are near, nearby. And there's the North Carolina. So I have to be very careful about how I position myself to the North Carolina. I cannot show my broadside to him. That would be very, very bad. I'm not entirely sure how that Fabuki just got bombed through his smoke. Um, I don't know, maybe the uh, replay is glitched. But we're going to cautiously move up ahead. Uh, I need to get in front of my battleships so that if there are any incoming torpedoes, I will see them first and I'm maneuverable enough to try and get around them and then I will spot them for the battleships so that they, they have an opportunity to, to dodge them as well. Just taking little pot shots at the North Carolina just because he is the only target that has presented himself. Maybe catch him on fire. And here comes my first cruiser. It's a uh, Miyoko, and he's giving full broadside. Now I have HE, but full broadside is still a much larger target to shoot at, so I'm going to go ahead and fire off, and I'm automatically switching over to AP. I'm hoping he'll keep going straight around the edge of that island, and I realize that I'm getting a little overextended here. I'm going to show my broadside to that new North Carolina. So I'm going to pull a, a hard to port, use that island as cover, and try and hurt this Miyoko who's still giving broadside. And there's a citadel for him. Now it's not like a battleship citadel where I just do gobs and gobs and gobs of damage, but the, ad the damage does add up very quickly. 
there's another citadel and another and he's now half health so again not quite as dramatic as a battleship citadel but the principles are all the same uh, right underneath the smokestack which is exactly where I'm hanging there's another two citadels or directly under the guns and the ones under the smokestack is by far the easiest to hit um, trying to finish him off he, he's finally realized that he can't show his broadside anymore and I'm now well behind the island because I was trying to make sure that I didn't get into gunnery range of that North Carolina I need to turn myself around so I can get back in this fight that was my own mistake I uh, didn't pay attention to how far I was getting behind that island but I knew I did not want to expose myself to that North Carolina now we have a Nuremberg coming in Nuremberg's well for that matter German but, uh, cruisers are also very much floating citadels they're very very easy to citadel so I'm gonna switch targets because that Miyoka is almost dead and on fire let's see if I can range this guy oh RNG why do you hate me so much well, there's a very close range Colorado so we're gonna angle away from him to not give him a good target and try and focus on this Nuremberg there's a destroyer I need to intercept him as soon as possible okay I got the the range about right but RNG is still fight me let's get another salvo off again firing AP rounds I'm going for those citadels and those look fantastic and yeah I, I just one shot him with six citadels again Nurburgs are floating citadels so that was his fault for sailing like that you really can't do that with a Nuremberg I know you think that you can but I, I just demonstrated to you that you simply can't switch back to HE both because I'm about to engage this destroyer just gotta get around our battleships here but also hopefully I can catch the cruiser on fire but he's dead from torpedoes so that's all right so the Farragut right there just took out one of our cruisers and he is in good position to try and spring a trap on either the Turpish to my right or the other battleship which I'm not entirely sure what kind it is to my left so I need to intercept him now he can't see me at the moment which is great I've got HE loaded and we're coming around this corner I'm go ahead and take our shots off those look pretty good yeah alright not nearly as much damage as I had hoped but oh then somebody else got a really good shot on him and I'm not gonna get reloaded before he gets back behind this island now if he was smart he'd stop firing and he would go right along that edge and I'd lose sight of him and he could reposition and try again instead he keeps shooting and now I'm almost clear of this next island and he's just sailing in a straight line and that's what sailing in a straight line gets you I'm gonna pull a hard to port here just to make sure in case there was any torpedoes in the water on the way and reassess the situation and the situation is is there is nobody south and they have all wrapped around on the east side and are starting to enter our cap we have a destroyer that is way way out front our Russian DD over there and he is capping C which is great so even if they take B we uh, still maintain an equal cap so now let's see what what's a good target well that Cleveland is dangerous as much as I want to shoot at that destroyer right now he's too far away for me to accurately fire at him and I could maybe help kill this Cleveland who's going to be trying to catch our battleships on fire so I'm going to go after him and, and close the distance and then try and switch over to that destroyer. RNG hates me, so those shots miss. Let's try again. Yeah, those look pretty decent. Alright, some decent damage. And I think our team's going to be able to finish him off. I need to switch over to this destroyer before he gets too close to our battleship that's just sailing straight in that war spite there I 
Okay, got a couple of good hits on on a uh, stealth destroyer there. Now I need to try and finish him off before he can shoot his torps at our war spite. Perfect. Again, destroyers are your absolute number one priority. And here we come to an Atlanta. Atlantas are dangerous only if they're accurate and you can see that I'm fairly maneuverable and I'm just going to go ahead and intentionally beach myself here. It'll give me some fire cover from these two enemies coming around the corner and buy me a little bit of time to kill this Atlanta. I've switched over to H or AP because he is going full broadside at me and there's a nice healthy citadel for you and our battleship finished him off. You can't do that. My new priority is that Kutuzov, tier 8 Russian destroyer. He is dangerous and he is trying to close in on several of our allies. That Colorado is not giving me a good angle nor can I do a whole lot of damage to him. I'll fire at him if he's my only target but I can do a lot more damage to that cruiser and help my team a lot more by killing him quickly. But then again looking at points, that destroyer, that's, that lone little destroyer we had is still capping. He's about to get the fourth cap. Basically this game's over. Um, so good teamwork, had a very good team, they, they worked together well. Uh, when we finished off those last couple enemies on the west side, everyone kind of stopped and looked and saw that flank coming around the corner and everyone turned around and came and helped out on the B cap. Uh, which they didn't even cap. So, fantastic team. Good job. I hope you all learned that there are situations when you use AP or HE and what your target priorities should be as a cruiser. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them. Uh, I will do my best to answer. Hope you learned something. Hope you had fun. Take care, everyone.